Now it's time to set up our campaign. So just sign into your Google AdWords account in, under Campaign Management. And then you'll see over here it says New Online Campaign. So click on that and then you click Start on Placements. Now the reason it says Start on Placements is because you can actually now mix placement targeted campaigns with keyword targeted campaigns but you have to start with one type or another. Okay, the first thing we need to do is give our campaign a name. So we'll just call it videos. You just put something here that makes sense to you. Now you name your ad group. This allows you to group certain sites together. So you can give it a name that's meaningful here. I'm just going to call it one for now. Okay, down here you have the language you're targeting and then down here the country you're going to target. So we can change our targeting down here. Brings up a map like you see here. And then we'll start selecting. So just click and then click on the country like so. And then click on the other countries you want. Okay, so we have the US and Canada. And then any other countries you want, you would click on them as well. Now we can just drag our mouse across here. And then we can pick the United Kingdom, for instance. This is totally up to you which ones you select. Okay, once we're done with that, we just click Done. And then we click Continue. Now here is where you actually set up your ad. Now you have a finite amount of space here to attract attention, so you make sure that you take full advantage of it. You need to have a compelling headline that's for sure going to get their attention, and then you get two more lines to convince them to click. So spend some time thinking about what you want to put in here. Okay, so something like that. Down here, this is your display URL, and it's what shows on your ad. And then down here is the destination URL, and that's where they're actually going to be taken. So you need to fill those out as well. And they do need to be on the same domain and not redirects. Okay, once you have that filled out, it checks to make sure everything's correct. Now at this point, you can create more ads for the ad group if you want. And once we're done, and click continue. Now at this point you have different ways that you can find where you want to place your targeting. First of all you can browse by categories. For instance if we were looking business. Okay and then under here we have subcategories and then we can continue to drill down within these subcategories. Then if you look down below you'll see the websites and the number of impressions per day on the ads. Okay then the other thing we can do is we can describe topics Okay, and then here's where we could put our keywords that we had before. Okay, and then up comes our list here. Now over here we have some little boxes called ad formats. Now here this first one means text ads can appear in any ad unit on this site on this one. So if you put your mouse over it just tells you what their criteria are on each of these. Here we have image ad size so you can have a wide skyscraper type of image ad and video ad sizes are a wide skyscraper as well. So that's what all of these are. It just tells you where your ads can appear on each of these sites that are in here. 
Now over here you have the number of impressions and then you can just click add to add them to your placement targeting. So go through the list and pick the ones that you want to appear on. Now, if you were to click on one of these, Google brings up a little window and it just tells you where your ads can appear. You can view a sample page. It brings up a sample page of the site so you can see where the ads would go. All right, so you just go through this huge list here, pick the ones where you want your ads to appear. Now you're going to want to make sure that the sites that you're targeting are actually about what your niche is about. You don't want to end up on some site that isn't really targeted, so be careful about that. Now remember the research we did before. We want to make sure that we end up on these particular pages. Okay, so to do that, all we can do is go to list URLs, and then we can enter our URLs in here. So let's just grab these. Now when I was creating this list of URLs, I didn't take into consideration the number of sub URLs in here. You're only allowed to have two levels, so we're probably gonna get an error. Okay, so it's giving us an error here because we have too many extensions here. And this one, dot I, dot .at, it doesn't like that one at all. So let's take that out of there. Okay, so we'll add and design studio. And then we can go through and look at what we've selected. And this is everything, including what we just did. Now you'll notice up here it says one of the URLs entered are not available for targeting. And the reason is because they've turned off in their ad placements the ability for the content network to show ads on their site. Okay, so click continue. Now here you can pick how you want to pay, whether you want to pay by cost per click, and that's when you pay only when somebody clicks, or if you want to pay cost per M or CPM or cost per thousand impressions. Now you're likely going to want to go with cost per click as it says down here, it's recommended only for campaigns with display advertising like videos or images. So if you're using text ads, you should probably go with cost per click. Right, let's continue. Okay, now it's telling us how many ads placements we have here and the maximum impressions. So we have seven placements that allow video, image, or text ads at 500k plus impressions per day. Two placements that allow text ads 0 to 10K, and five placements with 100K to 500K. Okay, so now it's just showing us that to let show us how many impressions there are for those particular sites. This is not saying that our ad is going to get all those impressions because it works by bids just like the regular ad network does. Okay, so we want to enter our daily budget. Let's say $5. And what is the maximum you're willing to pay each time someone clicks on your ad? And this will influence the ad position just like it does in the search network. Okay, so adjust this as you see fit here. Click continue. And here's our summary. And shows us which sites we're targeting. Now you could go back and create another ad group at this point if you wanted to do something else in here and actually target different sites with a different ad, you would set up another ad group 
or you can save your campaign. So we'll go ahead and save our campaign. Okay, and now our ad is running. So this is our ad group. It's active. We're going to pay one cent per click, and this shows our clicks and impressions. Now all we have to do is monitor the progress of our campaigns, so we'll go over some fine-tuning in the next video.